Hey guys, Rogue Nation here. We got a doozy for us tonight. We have uh, a little bit of a backstory I'm going to go through real quick. And um, that is that this gentleman here that we're looking at, Clifford, him and his wife own this home right here. And they run a little rover business out of it. Now, um... They have a neighbor, and he has a big old million dollar mansion next to him. They're out in the country. This is Oklahoma. This is Shawnee, Oklahoma, which is just due east of Oklahoma City. Now, what has happened is, is that his neighbor has called the animal control on him. And animal control showed up at their house. His wife allowed them inside the house to see, you know, where the dogs are at and everything like that. They're not a kennel. Uh, they're not boarding animals. There's no outside facility uh, where they board animals at. And um, she comes in under the auspice of, you know, that there's this ordinance that they have to have a license to operate this business right which is untrue I've looked all the codes today I've been able to find not a one that pertains to what they do and in the quantities they do enough if you're a commercial breeder or commercial border you know kennel stuff like that yes you need a license but these folks just watch some people's dogs here and there, you know, when they go out of town for a couple of days or whatever, and then, you know, give the dogs right back to them. So there's nothing on the books about this type of business at all, and much less about it needing to be licensed or anything of that nature. So when the lady comes in, she, I guess, has an attitude, and, you know, she's telling them that she's going to shut down their business, and, you know... Clifford gets upset. From what I understand, the business brings in about 50% of their income. So um, he kicks them out, kicks them out of the house, tells them to leave. They go and they call the police, right? And let me back up a little bit. Before he kicks them out of the house, because he's only got his three dogs in the house right now. There's no dogs that they're keeping at the moment or, or anything of that nature. So she, instead of going after the business license, asks the wife if the dogs have their city tags and their rabies shot tags or whatever. Now, you can go look on their website and you'll see that they don't require city tags anymore all right they just the city doesn't do it even though it is it is an ordinance there that you have to have city tags but i guess the city uh decided voted against it and they just haven't updated the code um is what it looks like to me from their site um and as far as the rabies tags go she says yeah you know we've we've got their their tags or information it's just in a box somewhere so, um, you know, Clifford gets mad, kicks her out. They go out there, they call the police, and they want to write, the animal control people want to write them a citation. And, you know, they call the police there to try to get this guy's, you know, name or whatever, which, first of all, I don't, I don't even see how that can be an issue, right? I mean, you're at the home of the person you want to write the citation to, right? You are city employees, right? You can go back and you can pull up property records and find out who owns the property there. Um, if you even, you know, need their name, if you could put John Doe at, you know, 3535 Awesome Street and leave the citation in his mailbox. It's it's almost akin to me of saying that I need to ID for a parking ticket, right? Like if I come up upon an officer writing a, a ticket, um, for my parked car, I don't have to give him ID for that. He's writing the ticket for the car, 
right? Being illegally parked. And, you know, the cops don't wait around for people to come back to their car when they're writing a parking ticket. They write the ticket, they leave it on the car, they leave. The same thing could be done here in this instance. But for whatever reason, they want to get his ID and her ID and, and issue him citations. Which, again, I think you could just write it to the address and put it in the mailbox. And legally, I think you should be fine. Again, been looking... I haven't found anything that says you need the ID for a, an animal control citation. So I've looked in Google Scholar for case law. There doesn't seem to be anything about it. I've looked on the internet. I've looked through their statutes. I don't see anything that says you'd have to ID for an animal control citation. Now, if somebody knows something different, let me know in the comments. i got a lot of smart people out there that watch my stuff. So if you guys know about it, you know, please let me know. So that's where we're going to start here is we're going to start. This is the officer's uh, body worn camera. Um, and there's a lot to go through here. It's going to be a lengthier video, but um, it is important that we watch all this. I do have the police report at the end. One of the officers did lie on the police report. We're going to get to that at the end. We're going to want to call the DA and see if this guy isn't already on the Brady list, then he needs to be on the Brady list, right? Because this is a clear example of this gentleman lying on official report. I mean, there's no way that we can take his word in court ever, right? Because this guy's known to be a liar now, we'll, and we'll, we'll expose it all. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to watch this. And uh, I have talked with Clifford. I do have permission to use all this stuff, so I won't be commenting a lot over it. Um, but let's get into it, guys. Send it in the mail. No, they need a signature. Well, they're not getting one. You, so you're not going to sign a citation? No. Why would I sign a citation? Because... I've been on the phone with City Hall. I've been on the phone with City Planning. I have done everything that I was required to do. Nobody has come out here. Nobody has called us. Nobody has contacted us. Mm -hmm. These people show up. This one's got an attitude problem. Mm -hmm. I asked her to leave. Okay. Well, they're going to give you your citations today. Well, they can do whatever they want. They're free to leave it in the mailbox. They can leave it on the fence. They can do whatever they want. I can't stop them. Okay. The driver's license needs information. Yep. You have your driver's license, sir. I'm not giving my driver's license. I'm not driving a vehicle. I don't need a driver's license. I am not required on my own property to issue ID. I am in my you, home. You think so? I am doing my own thing. I am minding my own business. Okay. Can you get that information from... We can get it off of uh, utilities and whatnot out here. So. so I need you to be my backup because when we put them on saying refuse to sign, mm -hmm. I need your... Okay. Got it recording. All right. Sounds good. I got a recording too. That's fine. So, they're going to issue them and put them on the door. Well, they're going to be violating the do not enter sign. 1897 the There's a mailbox down there. Okay. We have signage here for a reason. Okay, and you're also violating city ordinances. Well, not according to the city. Well, according to what they just told me, um, they're animal control, sir. I know who they um, are. So. And I've, my wife has spoken to their bosses, mm -hmm. their bosses' bosses. We've gone all the way up the food who, chain. Who did you speak to? I would have to ask my wife about that. Can you, I allowed her to deal with can it. Can you find out so that I will know? I can walk in there and ask her. Okay. So she can tell I me. appreciate it. Would you like to walk inside? I don't want to deal with these people and yeah. their attitude. Are I you? Got no beef with you. Okay. I don't want to deal with the attitude. Walked in here and told me I'm shutting down my entire business mm -hmm. and cutting my legs out from underneath me, and I'm not doing it. Right. I would like you to leave my property now, please. Well, they're going to get. I'm asking you nicely. Sir. Let's go you talk are to your trespassing. Wife. Actually, they're not. They are. Want it, sir. I don't want them here. Well, I understand that. If you want my cooperation, cooperate with me. I want them off my property. I'm being nice, sir. Okay. I'm not violating any laws. I'm in my own home. Right. I'm doing my own thing. These let's, city let's, folks let's, show up and start barking out orders. Well, you're still in city limits. That's the problem. It's not my not, problem. Well, it's got, not my problem. This is order. my five acres of property, is it not? 
Well, yeah, this but is my you, five acres. This is my property listen, that I pay listen, for. What is your name, sir? Calm my down. name is irrelevant. Well, I'm trying to talk to and you. And trust me, I'm calm. This is calm. Okay. This is me calm. So, if you live in the city limits, you have to follow city ordinances. And, and even though you're clear out here, on five called, acres. When we had the problem with this guy over here okay. who tried to shut us down because he mm -hmm. told me I needed my, his permission to do things on my property. Who, my who wife, the guy that built that Just house. Just a neighbor? Just an idiot neighbor. Okay. My wife well, immediately. Have say so. My but, wife and me immediately mm -hmm. got on the phone with the city. Right. Nobody could give her anything anybody ever told her was, we don't need anything. Mm -hmm. There's a law for it. What we're doing is not mm -hmm. boarding. Right. We're not boarding the dogs. They come here. They live with us as if they're our dogs. We've been doing this in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. We're doing it here. And there's a whole network of so people out there doing are it. Are they your dogs? No, they're not. Okay. Okay. Um, the way I see it is this one just has a little bit of a power streak, right. and I'm not giving it a satisfaction. I would like them to leave my property, and I don't understand why we have to make a big old deal with this by having multiple cop cars here for what? Because for a we, man that simply wants we, animal patrol off his property because I don't recognize any authority they may have. I am cooperating with police 100%. Right. These people are trespassing. I don't want the man. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. And no, I have no firearms in the wet, in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm not even from a state that allows them. Born and right. raised in Jersey. I've never held a firearm. Right. My security is my dogs. And they're safely locked away at the moment. Okay. So they I lied to my wife. They uh -huh. told my wife they wanted to come up and inspect our home. Okay. All right. She brought them up, no problem. She told them, go ahead, open the gate, drive up. I'm going to get the dog secure. Mm -hmm. She came in, she did that. Okay. They stood in this room and I said, well, this is a boarding. You need to shut down. You can't be doing this. Mm -hmm. Half of our income is this business. Okay. I'm not giving up half my income. Okay. I lose my property and everything I own. I'm not so, doing so, it. Okay. I don't care so, what these people say. Listen, hey, so from just a little bit that I've caught from you, this is business, but you say you're not boarding. If you're making money from it, that's boarding animals. I understand that you're keeping them as your own, but that's that's a board. Guys, let me introduce Officer Jacob Blazer. That's the idiot talking now about law when we know damn good and well that this dude has no clue what the law is about anything, right? He, he, he has no he has no clue what boarding laws are, right? I mean, even the animal control guys most likely don't know. I, I know this guy doesn't know, right? But he's going to run his mouth anyway. They always love to do that, right? Talk about something they don't know. Boarding business, and you have to have, there's regulations and everything like that, and they're all the ones that all you got, All that. you got to do is get permits and whatnot. They told us we can't get permits because we need a separate building to house the dogs. They can't be housed in our home. We need a separate concrete building. You know how many thousands of dollars that is going to be? Mm -hmm. You know how much of a headache that's going to be? That's going to put us under. We work for a tiny little website online. Right. We have a tiny little business here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand, and I know it's frustrating. I'm a business owner myself. I mean, it is frustrating all the loopholes and the rules you got to do, but... If you want to, that's, I mean, those are just the rules. That's just what you got to do. Well, I don't recognize the rules out here because I was told we weren't under them. Well, I was is, told, is my wife was told so that we're far enough out that the not. city basically don't care. We're not even part of a ward. Okay. I looked this it is, up. We don't even fall into the map. We are so far outside, we don't if, even fall if, in the ward map. If, if you weren't in the city limits, we wouldn't be standing here. It would be, be county. And, and county doesn't have any ordinances like that, as far as I know. The all this uh, is, is we have somebody okay. that's coming at us for being an idiot, mm -hmm. and this is payback for it. This is another part of a frivolous lawsuit coming toward us. Okay. I mean, I understand it's frustrating, I know.
but they're just doing their job. You are in city limits. And so. they lied to my wife okay. by telling her they wanted to inspect the place, and her being a good person Broken. brought them up under that guidance. That's, not That's why I don't want them it. here. They had no intentions of inspecting anything. Okay. They walked in the house and immediately told us we cannot be doing this. That's I'm not shutting my business down inspection. because these people tell me it's not happening. Okay. Well, then you're subject to tickets. They can subject, subject me to whatever they want. Okay. Well, you have to follow the regulations because you're in city limits. I don't have to do anything. Okay. I have choices. I can choose to ignore it. Okay. And then you can choose to go to jail, I guess. I mean, that's as simple as it is. But when you get an order from a judge that says I need to go to jail, then I guess I'm going to jail. Clifford shut him up with that right there. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can go to jail when there's an order, when there's a warrant for my arrest to go to jail. Not because you said so, punk. I love it. So, you can't do this business. Well, I'm going to continue to do it. I'm not stopping. Okay. I'm not stopping. We're on the phone to the very people that my wife spoke to last year who told us there was no ordinance on the book. That's, there was nothing. That's why I want to talk to you. Why? Because I want to find out who told her that. Yeah, come out here. I don't really want people in the house. Figures she's standing in the bedroom. Yeah, that only opens in because of the dogs. I understand. We got a small pipe. Everybody keeps stepping on it. Okay. You get, hey. Blazer, do you got your notebook on you? I didn't grab mine. No. Got <laughs> it's alright, it'll be on video. I'll, I'll review the video. Give her a moment. She's probably putting shoes on. It's alright. We have guests. Hi there. Hi. How are you? I, well, <laughs> are they all still behaving? They're all behaving, yeah. Okay. So, so who did you talk to at the I, city? I spoke with. Beverly, who is a volunteer at Animal Welfare, she got me in touch with Brandy, who was a supervisor. Brandy, that I did not was get at into, Animal Control? That was at Animal Control, yes. At the time. Yes. Okay. Brandy told me there is nothing on the books for what we are doing because we are boarding them in our home. We are not a facility. We do not keep them in kennels. We do not keep them in a separate building. They are in our home. Therefore, the boarding laws do not apply to us, but I should call... Uh, code enforcement. Okay. That was, I believe, Garland or Greenland was his name. Greenland was over uh, animal control. He's retired now, but I know it. I mean, okay. Um, I spoke with him or his assistant. Mm -hmm. I can't remember who it was. They said again, since we are maybe in a, Dave Carpenter. I, Does that ring a bell? I just put Greenland down. Was okay. The name that I spoke okay. With. They told us we were in a zoned agricultural area. They, there were no laws on the books for what we were doing, but we should call, um, who is this, Rachel Klein, who is with the city planning, I believe. Okay. Spoke with her at length. She said we are in a A1 rural agricultural area. Per the code, she gave me a link to this. Okay. Dog boarding and training is permitted use by right. She also stated that she was going to call Animal Control. She was going to call Brandy and Greenland. They were going to set up a meeting and discuss what to do with us. Since okay. there isn't any law on the books, All but right. what we were doing was perfectly within our rights. Okay. I'm going to go make a phone call to Brandy. Okay. Um, Brandy still works for the city. Okay. She's no longer with Animal Control. Uh, okay. But, uh, no, I've, I've tried um, repeatedly today to get hold of them. I also called and I left a message with Rachel. Okay. Because she was the one that was so helpful last time uh, okay. with all of this. Um, I so there, so that. what they told you was this was ag agricultural because yes. it's out here. Yes. Okay. And that um, we do not fall in that because we are not a facility be because okay. they are in our you, home. You're the one that spoke to Brandy? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, I spoke to Brandy and I spoke to... Does she have your address? He won't give me your, the name, so I mean, I'm going to uh, be kind of talking... I know Rachel has all of our information. Okay. Um, like I said, I just tried calling her and left a message on her voicemail. Asked her to call me back as soon as she could. Okay. Um, I've tried calling Animal Welfare multiple times That's them. after they showed up. That's them. Because I was trying to get a hold of this Brandy person. But, yeah. Let's be clear here, folks. Because he just mentioned about how, you know, does Brandy know who you are? Because um, he won't give me his name. 
it would be as hard as him radioing the dispatch and asking them to pull up the property to see who the registered owners are of the property. That it literally take him a couple of minutes. I mean, he's got a computer there in his car. It would literally take him a couple of minutes to find out who the owners are, right, of the property. But they're going to do so much worse. Yeah, Brandy, like I said, Brandy's no longer over there. So, But let me call her because I know where she's at. So, okay. And um, also, so from talking to you, you good? Yeah. Okay. They said they're not trying to shut down. I'll be right back. I'm going to make a phone call. And we don't need to see the rest of this part of the body cam. I got more body cam footage that we're going to play here in a minute. What I want to make known, though, is, is that the other officer somehow doesn't have a body cam. Right? Doesn't have a body cam or doesn't have it on or loses the evidence or you, you, you know how it goes. Right? I'm, I'm not talking to a bunch of people that don't know how it goes. Right? We all know how it goes. And this officer without the body cam is the one whose actions are in question. Now, when this gentleman leaves, uh, as we see him now going to his car to make a phone call, that's when the incident occurs, right, that we're going to focus on. Um, so this body cam from here on doesn't show it. It shows him going to his car shows him you know making his call or whatever he can't really hear it um but it's not important right so we're gonna skip to the other body cam footage let's see here okay and what we're seeing here now is this officer, Blazer, has already handcuffed the wife and walked her down, and she's in his cruiser. Now they've come back up here, and they're trying to get the guy's ID or her ID, right? So that's where we are right now. Listen to what this officer says. ID or your wife's ID, and then I'll be on my way. No, it's not. Now, I just like your ID, so uh, Animal Control can if you issue your citations, I can let your wife go and we'll be on our way. I didn't arrest her, I detained her. Well, detaining means, would you like me to explain the difference? Yeah, because I'm not done with my investigation. If you go inside the residence and I can't get you to come out. Okay. She's not locked up. She's just sitting in my car right now. Not at this time, no. No, that's detaining. Okay. Right. That's false. Okay. Will you uh, provide me with your ID, please? Okay. All right. We'll see you later. Ask her one more time to give her name. Headquarters yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. We're unable to locate any data birth. Me? Yes, sir. Who is this guy and why is 
me arresting my wife. Obstruction. Obstruction of what? Whenever, any time that we ask for an identification so that we can issue a citation, if you don't give it, somebody can okay. be arrested for Did obstruction. Did she to give it to you? Did she Did you? refuse? I don't know. I wasn't up here, sir. Exactly. I was on, on the phone. And I'm telling you that my wife was going to walk into the house, get her ID, and walk mm -hmm. out here until your buddy over there decided to cuff her and walk her off as okay. an extortion to get me to cooperate. Here, here is the deal, sir. And guess what? It works. Because I'm not going to allow my wife to go sit in a jail cell. Okay. So, so the extortion works. Are you giving the your ID so they can issue citations. It's what that, choice do I have? It's that simple. I'm being extorted. Okay. This is extortion. Is your last name Clifford? Yes. Okay. My first name is Clifford. Hey, first name. Can you find okay. 43, my name and date of birth, please? We already had, I already got partial You're information. You already got my information. I, just I don't, I don't have a date of birth. Do you have hers, sir? No, I don't even do know where she You want the citations it. issued to you? I don't even know where her ID is. I'm asking you a question. Do you want the citations issued to you? Do I have a choice? Well, somebody's getting, I mean, that's the deal. This and, is and the way, so, he is the one that started this. There was no reason for him. She was walking in following me. He stood right here and blocked the, her the, path. So, and it's on camera. We have a camera system here. I have my camera that. standing in front of her, and, blocking and her, illegally arresting her. Okay. I'm going to. And she would have defused this by walking in, getting the ID, and being done. I'm going to let them issue the citations, um, and then we'll be out of your hair. Okay. So how long are you holding my wife for? I'm going to tell him to get her out right now. I don't understand why she was ever put in there. Go ahead and log this information. Uh, Oklahoma DL King 083-356-329. Try to get him wrote up pretty quick. What's interesting to note there is he was calling in his ID, running him for warrants. So it wasn't just to get his ID to issue the citations, which... Again, I don't think uh, animal control has the legal authority to demand ID for a citation. Um, and I don't think the cops here in this situation had reasonable suspicion that a crime had been committed in order to get ID. And they damn sure didn't have reasonable suspicion to detain his wife until he gave them ID and you know that's all it was about the officer plainly said it at standing at his back door just give us ID and we'll let your wife go I mean literally extortion is what happened right here in front of our eyes right let's see what they have to say that's his he didn't know where hers was yeah. so uh, we're gonna let her go right yeah okay All right, ma'am, step out. I don't really know why y'all are being so difficult cooperating on giving simple your name, date of birth, and whatnot. Um, but I, I did speak to Brandy, just like I told you I was going to. So y'all do fall. So this may, she didn't know if this was agricultural or not, but even if it is, it's not gonna matter. Um, you still have to have a permit through the city if you're running a business. We, again, we spoke to all the way up to city planning and, and code I, enforcement. I, they told us we did not need any. I under, go ahead and take those off over. Um, yeah. 
and let me speak to my own experience here. I don't believe that that to be correct. I believe maybe if you're conducting business um, under a DBA, doing business as, if you're uh, LLC or you know some kind of corp like that, perhaps. Um, but as a small business, like, okay, for example, let's say my daughter wanted to babysit kids, you know, and let's say she has three kids that she babysits every day. She doesn't need a license, right? She doesn't need a permit for that. She just doesn't, right? Or let's say, you know, I don't have a boy, but let's say I have a, you know, had a 15 year old. And he goes around and he does lawn care and is, you know, in the neighborhood, you know, and he runs the business out of the house, right? Because he's 15. He doesn't have a warehouse or an office. So he runs the business out of his house at 15 years old. He doesn't need a license or a permit for that, right? You have to look at the laws to see what's going on. Now, if you keep more than 10 kids in your, you know, babysitting thing, then, then yeah, they consider that daycare, you know, whatever. There's always a limit, right? And if you don't fall into that limit, then you don't have to abide by that ordinance. And usually they're, they're pretty well spelled out. And again, let me just say that I've looked over the ordinances for Shawnee, uh, for the business licenses. Um, I don't see anything in there that deals with what they're doing there in their home, which is basically babysitting dogs, right? It's what it is. It's, it's pet sitting, right? So again, we're faced with cops that don't know the law. Call me shocked, right? Now I haven't seen all of this body cam footage. I don't know if we're going to watch it all, but let's, let's get back into it real quick. Uh, I understand that, um, and she's going to make some phone calls as well, but right now, anytime an officer asks for identification, it's just like whenever I was asked, I could have went this far, um, but, you know, it's obstruction is what it falls at. Anytime we ask, and we're out here investigating, we're trying to get information so that they can do their job and issue a citation. It's a simple citation. You'll go to court, and then you can talk to the judge, fight it in court, and whatnot. We can't make those determinations. All we do is enforce what city ordinance is or the law, plain and simple. City ordinances, we do not need anything. Okay. Well, city ordinances says that you do. Um, what, what, what is the cita uh, ordinance for that? Know the number, ma'am. I don't. I, you know, everything that I write, I look up. Okay, so go ahead and look it up. Go ahead and look it up. Yeah, because okay. again, we were told all the way up to city planning that we did not fall under the boarding facility licensing. Right. But what they're telling me, what Brandy is telling me, is that if you are running it as a business, which your husband clearly stated, it's recorded that if you're running a business, who is Brandy? How would Brandy know about permits and licenses for businesses? Does she issue those? No, she doesn't. Brandy went from working um, at the animal control place to records, to the records department, right? Brandy doesn't know. I don't know why this officer is saying, well, Brandy said, like, who gives a shit what Brandy fucking said? Excuse my language. You know what I mean? Like, who gives a damn? Who is she? She's no one to be making legal determinations about business licenses. I guarantee you that. I bet you Brandy can't even understand the ordinances that she reads. Because she's not trained in law. Poor Brandy. Business, then you have to have a license. That's the state of Oklahoma. That is not what we were told. So, I'm just telling you, relaying you what I was told over the phone. So, I mean, here, here's the thing, whenever, I mean, I always get things in writing from somebody because Rachel, I, don't, I don't care who. Mitchell sent me the link in an okay, email. The link. To the did, did they put it in 
now we can see, I can see, I don't know if you guys can see right now because he's half off the screen, but Jacob Blazer is wearing a body cam. So that means either that he, A, didn't turn it on, um, or, you know, after he wrote his line report, he decided to delete the footage or they're just not given the footage because they asked for the footage and uh, they didn't receive it so he definitely has a body cam on you can see it's right in the middle of his chest there let's see if it's blinking i haven't been able to see let's see if it's blinking writing stating that y'all are allowed to run a business out of your home and not need any permits did they give you that i'd have to check that email but she sent me a link to the city ordinance I, I, stating here, here's, here's, me. okay she sent me a link to the ordinance that stated we fall under agricultural we are permitted by right, by use by right, words, the exact words of it. Okay. But because of that, okay. mm -hmm. we do not fall. We got respond on the Red Rock. It's going to be a reference to the subject. That's, that's not to what Brandy's telling me on with the phone. Red Rock staff with transport. Brandy's going to make some phone calls. Right, so so here, here's what I'm telling story. you. Here's what I'm telling okay. you. Here's what I'm telling you. Sorry, Port, can you back? Issued citations today. If 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 you Over. can prove differently, or if they can prove differently, then. You These know. citations aren't oh, yeah. for your business, ma'am. These citations are for the dogs. Your business and your business license has to do with the state of Oklahoma. That's the Oklahoma Tax Commission. So you need to talk to those people about whether you need a a business or, license. What are the citations oh, written for? Does that make sense? Like it has nothing to do with the city. You don't get a business. Did you just hear that? No vaccine and no city tax. So we're sitting here right now arguing over nothing. Other than no vac no, vaccination, I'm arguing because no they came tax. into my home and told me that we could not do our business and we had to shut down. Okay. That's what I'm arguing about. Okay. Because well, we were told differently. And, and they can, I guess they could come back here on another day and, you know, ask for your permits and whatnot and technically shut you down. But I would, I would talk to whoever you talked to before yourself. I would get it in writing. If they if they said yes back then, I would try to hold them to it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I can't well, make that determination. Yeah, but Brandy said it was fine. Now she's saying it differently. Okay. Hey, Brandy, with Brandy said she was going to make it You can argue all that in front of a judge, and he can decide it, okay? But in the meantime, you're going to get these citations. She just needs a description of your dogs, please. Black Labs. All black? How many? Three. Males or females? Males. Neutered or not neutered? Neutered. All right, thank you. Hey, do you need anything not, else from her? I'm not her telling you because... Are they going to her? Brandy said she was going to make some okay. phone calls and get back with me, so... Yeah, well, she's already proven that she's going to talk out both sides of her mouth because now she's telling you something differently than what they told us. All, no, all I asked her was, does agricultural land fall under a different category? And she stated no. So. Again, that's not what they told us a year ago. Okay. But, you know, she's your friend and you know her. So, of course, they're going to decide on you instead of what they told us a year ago. Actually, she's a co-worker, not a friend. So. Well, again. You can, I mean, if you want to go on up to the house, you can. You don't have to stand out here. We're done. They're issuing a citation to your husband. Yeah, he he's the one. He gave. He said. Well, this guy's a straight up meathead. And like I said, I don't think. Well, hold on, I didn't get to see this. So let's see what these guys have to say. Get them done. We are putting them a break, even though they're being put. We're just going to issue them two citations instead of one for each dog. Okay. So,
hopefully one day they'll put us in the 21st century with you guys and get us e-tickets because it will make it so much easier. I'd rather hand jam one than yep. print that out. Yeah. Myself. I, I know guess. that thing would... Yep. If, you, if you push, like if you save multiple citations or whatever and you push that print button twice, it'll print the whole roll with just gibberish. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, give me the old school tickets all day. Every day. I've still got an old ticket. All right, it doesn't look like they're going to say anything else of interest here. So we're going to get out of here. All right. And so what they're issuing the citations for, again, like I went over at the beginning, was for city tags and for um, rabies tags, which the lady told her she had. They were just in a box somewhere. Um, obviously, the lady never even seen the dogs, you know, uh, to knew if they had city tags on. The lady didn't even see the dogs. Otherwise, she would have knew they were black labs. Um, but let's get out of here. And we're going to go here to the... This is the police report that Blazer wrote, right? And we're going to pick up where the first body cam let off. It says, Corporal Moore went to his vehicle to make a phone call, and I was speaking with Clifford and his wife, Jennifer, outside the residence. I tried to explain to them they needed to provide identification for the citations, and they neither were cooperative. Both subjects kept saying that they weren't doing anything wrong, and they had got the okay to run their business. I told them that they would have their day in court to explain their situation, and that I just needed their identification cards. Clifford told me he would get his ID out of the house and walked inside. When he got inside, he yelled through the window for Jennifer to come inside and that he wasn't giving me shit. Jennifer tried walking inside and I told her she could not go inside, that she was being detained. When asked why, I told her that I needed her or Clifford's ID and that he needed to bring them outside. Clifford kept yelling through the window for her to come inside and that I was arresting her without cause. I told Clifford to bring his ID out again, and he refused, stating that he didn't have to. Here's the lie. Jennifer attempted to push past me again. Okay, using that word again, although he didn't say anywhere else in the police report she tried to push past him. But he says, Jennifer attempted to push past me again, and I placed her in handcuffs, double locking them, and walked her to my patrol car. Now... Let's look at the actual footage of what happened back there and see if Jennifer actually did try to walk past him or push past him. And the video is an outside video. It doesn't have sound. Um, I'm hoping that we can see it from this angle with my face in the way. Blah. I might have to go back and redo this part without my face in it. Let's see, though. I believe their door is right around here somewhere. Uh, but I'm, I'm unsure of, of where it's all going to take place, so. Let's see if we can scoot down a little bit. Okay, so me enlarging it like that, we could see it better. You know, this is only a five minute long video, but this is after you could see the other cop walking back to his car to, to make a phone call, and this gentleman's there with him. And they're talking. Clifford's going to come in the house here in a minute, and Jennifer's going to walk back towards the house as well watch how aggressively this officer walks to get in front of her right
and again, the officers can't ask for ID without reasonable suspicion of a crime, right? We already know that. That's a fact. Can the animal control officers force an ID to write a citation? This is unclear. But what's not unclear is that it's the officers that are asking for the ID and not the animal control officers. So that leads me to believe that the animal control officers don't have authority to ask you to ID. And they're, they're counting on the officers here to get the ID. And, and once again, they don't even need like physical IDs. Uh, name and date of birth is fine. You know, if they want to give up that, that kind of information. But this whole thing, this whole time has been about getting their IDs to fill out that citation. And we've already seen the body cam footage. That officer ran his name for warrants not just to get citations, you know? It's like they gotta get that ID, they gotta run, it's like crack to them or something. All right, Clifford's walking back into his house. Jennifer's coming to walk back. Now watch how fast this guy walks. And he gets there and he blocks her. Right? Now he says that she pushes up against him to try to go by him. Let's see if we see any of that in this video. She's standing there with her arms crossed. She's standing right by that white pipe by the, the house there. You can see the white pipe sticking out of the ground. You can see her feet. Her feet haven't moved. Her arms haven't moved like she's pushing on him. We've got 24 seconds left. Her feet still haven't moved. Her arms haven't moved. Nine seconds left. There he goes to arrest her. She never moved. She never moved, her feet never moved, her hands and arms never moved, but yet we read in the police report that Jennifer attempted to push past me again and I placed her in the handcuffs. Okay, attempt, attempted to push past me again for the second time, even though there was no first time. She attempted to push past them. Now, these folks are interested in, in being foster parents or adopting, right? And so that process is very rigorous for a background check, right? And so if they were to pull this arrest record and see that Jennifer was uh, trying to push past them, um, and that she was, you know, detained and, and, you know, whatever because of it, um, that could, you know, spoil their chances of being able to be foster parents or adopt. So they need to rewrite this report, right? They need to get rid of this report and rewrite the report truthfully, you know, um, and they, they need to take a blazer boy and because uh, you get to tell the guy's a meathead he's dumb as a fence post and he's most likely but not assuredly 
on steroids. Uh, he's just a big me head. You know, they use those guys to, to send in so the smart guys stay behind them and don't get killed. That's what me head boys are for. But, um, I mean, it's obvious. It's clear. He lied on his official police report, right? We can all see that he lied. Jennifer never attempted to push past this guy, all right? And again, the whole thing is over an ID to write animal welfare citations that, again, I find highly dubious that they're even required to provide ID for those kinds of citations. It's highly dubious. I've yet to see anything to the contrary. Anybody that knows, including the cops and prosecutors and judges and everybody, the state, you know, people that watch my channel, if you know something to the contrary, drop it in the comments below. This is for Oklahoma. This is for Sean E. Oklahoma, which is, again, just due east of Oklahoma City. So if anybody knows or can find uh, where the animal... Uh, people animal welfare people can make citizens id without reasonable suspicion of a crime uh, to sign their citation please uh, let me know otherwise what i see is an unlawful detention uh, a fourth amendment violation and an officer that needs to go on the brady list um at the very least, he needs to go on the Brady list, right? Because we can't trust this guy. Obviously, we can't trust this guy, right? Because this is such a minute detail. Why would you even Why would you even lie about that? Why would you lie about that? That's such a small thing, right? Like, just say she wouldn't give ID and I detained her for obstruction. What, what's with the attempting to push past? Right? Like, it's obvious the guy is a liar we can't trust him i don't think the court system can trust him and i'll definitely be making a call to the da to see if we can get this guy put on the brady list because uh, I, I, I don't think he deserves to be an officer if he's going to lie about little peddly shit like this just doesn't make any sense to me um so yeah all right, guys, we'll uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, if you got a buck, you know, go ahead and uh, hit me up on my Give, Send, Go. I'm raising money so that way if I do go to jail, uh, the family's taken care of. That's uh, really important to me, and uh, and I'll be getting out soon. So the, the sooner I can get that stuff filled up, the more at ease I'll feel when I'm out there on the street doing my thing. All right, we'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks. Oh, man, the cops are out there. Do you guys have some place I can hide? No, sir, we don't hide people. No? Oh, man, there's got to be a place I can hide. No, sir. No, what about behind the, the, behind the counter? No, sir. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. I'm not hiding. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cracking me up.